to Colorado Springs now, where another complaint is being filed after police walked into a hospital room and then minutes later, Marine veteran Carl Anderson was on the ground, tased and handcuffed. This is just feet away from his hospitalized young daughter. And this was all because of a cell phone. As Denver 7's Eddie Guajardo reports, Anderson is demanding there be consequences for the officers involved. Give me the oh, cell phone. Get out of the room. This is crazy. Get out of the room. Miss. Get out of the room. Serious. Serious. This is not right. Put your hands your back. It's this incident captured on officers' body cameras at Memorial Hospital in Colorado Springs two years ago. Under scrutiny and a complaint filed against the city of Colorado Springs, Teller County, and the officers involved. I'm not leaving my daughter's side. Carl Anderson Jr.'s two year old daughter, Charlotte, was airlifted to the hospital after he says his fiance accidentally hit her while driving out of the driveway. Charlotte was in ICU when several officers entered the hospital room. You see an officer attempt to reach for Anderson. Uh, excuse hey, me, you do not grab anything hey, in my pockets. Hey. Officers wanted to confiscate the parents' cell phones. Just give us the phone and we'll be done. For an investigation into their daughter's incident. They never presented a warrant or any paperwork saying that they had authority to take my personal property. When he refused, officers surrounded him. I'm going to go behind you because I don't want anybody behind you getting hurt. Moments later. <laughs> Anderson was tased twice, forced to the ground and handcuffed as his father called for help. They need to be prosecuted. Anderson's attorney, David Lane, says there was no reasonable suspicion or probable cause for the violent interaction. They were not arresting CJ. They were not arresting anyone. So the police have absolutely no right to demand personal property from anyone, absent a warrant. Anderson is a Marine veteran and served in Afghanistan. I have the utmost respect for law enforcement. He says these officers crossed the line and must be held accountable. I believe these officers need to be fired. His attorney wants to take it a step further. Felony assault is what they did. They committed a crime. They should be doing some time. Anderson was charged for resisting arrest and obstructing a peace officer. Both charges were dropped. Lane says no charges were filed against the parents for Charlotte's injury. Anderson tells us his daughter Charlotte has made a full recovery since the accident. We asked why now? Why speak out two years after this incident happened? Anderson's attorney tells us it's because these officers haven't been held accountable and because of the excessive use of force they've seen by police across the U.S. Now we reached out to the Teller County Sheriff's Office and the Colorado Springs Police Department. Right now they tell us they can't comment on this ongoing lawsuit. In Denver, Addie Guajardo, Denver 7.